Hello everyone, I'm Tracy Solomon and I'm the owner of the Dothan and the Enterprise Schools of Dance and I'm so excited to be on the Walter Sims Show. Hey guys, we are members of the Dothan School of Dance and we love watching the Dr. Walter Sims Show. said you wouldn't make it so far on uh, uh. and ever since they said it it's been hard but never mind the night you had to cry cause you had never let it go inside you worked real hard and you know exactly what you want four, five, six, seven, and we show now go lateral over nice lunge go lunge now go and turn yes release left right reach okay and we're up uh, two thank you yes oh oh you knew six seven eight and we're up two three we hold two Three, both legs extend. Two, three, on the two ears. Two, three, bend your legs. Two, three, and arms. Two, three, three, count down. Two, three, repeat. And one, two, three, we stay. Two, three, legs extend. No arms. Now arms go. Two, three, Bend your legs, two arms stay. Now arms, two, three, and down, two, three, two counts, we're up. Two, hold, two, extend, two, arms, two, legs, two, arms, two. Are you up. feeling unmotivated? Two. Do you feel like giving up? Do you feel like if you just had someone to talk to, everything would be okay? Do you want that listening ear, someone who really listens? Well, look no further. The doctor is in. Dr. Walter Sims, the Minister of Motivation, is waiting to hear from you. If you think this applies to you and you would like to talk to the Minister of Motivation, contact him at area code 205 two two five nine seven five seven. Again that's area code two zero five two two five nine seven five seven. And as the doctor always says, if you stay high on life, life will stay high on you. All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, again, I am Dr. Walter Sims. I'm the host of the Dr. Walter Sims Show, and we are here uh, in the office of Tracy Solomon, who is the owner of the Dothan School of Dance. I am so excited. I'm so thankful you're here with us today. Oh, I am so blessed to be here. Thank you. It's a great relationship we formed. Amen, amen. What got me about you, I, I left a voicemail for you. I stopped by. And one of your secretaries, I gave her my card, and what touched me, you called me back and said, Dr. Sims, whatever I can do to help you, I'll be glad to do it. And so I like, uh, I'm your number one fan. Oh, well, that's good to know. Thank you. Well, one, one thing that I'm interested in, because I've always passed this place and not really, have not really known of what it is, but one of my friends said, well, go see Tracy, because she owns the School of Dance, and she's really helping a lot of our young ladies really develop into great young women. So, how long have you been dancing? Well, I've been dancing since I was age six, and I'm wow. not going to tell you how many <laughs> years ago that was because that might tell my age, yes, but for a long time. Yes, ma'am. And uh, when I graduated from high school, well, I started teaching my junior year. Okay. And so okay. I taught two years in high school, and I was on the road driving all over to wow. branches that the Dothan School of Dance owned. Yes, ma'am. And in 1976, when I graduated, I knew because my love of dance and love of teaching, 
I knew that was what I wanted to do for my career. Oh, wow. So instead of going to college, my parents afforded the opportunity to buy into um, partnership with the Dothan School of Dance under the lady that? that I was training under. And I did that for a little while, and then I ended up buying out the entire Dothan School of Dance. That was in 1976 when I purchased. And then in 1996, okay. uh, we opened the Enterprise School of Dance that wow. I bought from two of my dear friends over in Enterprise that had the Gen Deb School of Dance. Right, right. So we basically run two sister schools the same way, and uh, we have a little over 350 students in each location. So we serve as probably 750 to 800 wow. Dancers per year, just in the school. So, so what's the what's the age range of the young ladies that you work with? That's a good question. With? We start at age three with our preschool program. How about that? In fact, we have a brand new preschool program that I'm so excited. I just got back from training. Okay. It's called the Alpha Mat, and wow. it is a really creative way of teaching preschoolers while they really have a lot of fun. And um, so we teach age three. We teach all the way up. We have um, students. We have adults. We have really? adult tap <laughs> class, and yes, we have okay. ballroom here. So I the, saw a video y'all do a little hip hop too. Yes, we do. We do. We do a little bit of everything. That's but, good. but ballet is our emphasis. You know, ballet right. is the backbone of dance. It is the How the about that? Um, the, the um, str uh, str of all forms of dance. Is that right? Yes. So that is our emphasis. Okay. Is teaching ballet, and then okay. of course we teach a lot of other subjects here as well. What? In, in all of the years that you've been dancing and coaching and training and teaching, what has been one of your your greatest moments as a dancer and as a teacher? Um, well, I think one of my proudest moments was when my daughter Ashley, who works in the business with me, okay. she decided to go to college for dance. And so she went Is to Barry right? Mount Manhattan up okay. in New York City. Okay. And graduated and then became a rocket. And, well, I, and we're that, going to talk about her in a few yes, minutes. Yes, <laughs> that was her first professional job, but not only as her teacher, but as her parent. That Aww. was so rewarding for me to know that I had a daughter that I was a part of that danced professionally with the Rockettes. You know, how many people can say that, really? Well, that, that being said, and, and, and help parents, if you will, let, let, let's shift gears a little bit. So how did you encourage your daughter to be a dance without actually pushing it on it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, it, it, that, that, is a, that is an art that every good dance teacher has to master. You okay. have to know how far you can push each dancer. How and every that? child is different based on okay. you know, what their personality is. Mm -hmm. But you have to be able to nurture them. And honestly, I just said yesterday, the four seniors that graduated this year, I am so sad because oh. we're missing him them here this week in summer camp, but they truly become just like your children because they dance that? here. When they're, when they're an elite dancer mm -hmm. and they're dancing mm -hmm. with the company, yes, they're dancing six days a week. They get Saturdays wow. off. So we see them literally as much, much as their day. parents do. Amen. And Amen. sometimes more because they wow. go to school, they come here, they're here till 8 or 8.30. And then they're here on Sunday afternoons after church for rehearsals. That, that's also, what are, what are some of the things, um, when you teach dance, what are some other things that you're teaching the young ladies as they develop into better dancers? Well, you know, maybe 2% of the dancers that graduate from high school okay. will, will remain in the dance program. Okay. But you know, that's not really our goal here. Our goal is to teach them to be the finest young women that they can oh, be wow. when awesome. they leave the school. Awesome. They, they learn time management, they learn responsibility, awesome. they learn how to cooperate, they learn respect, they learn what hard work is, Amen. which these days is hard to <laughs> teach. I just saw some footage and that teaching happened. Yes, they're very disciplined. Amen. Um, I said to my parents last night in the parent club meeting, I truly think that dance is as hard as any sport there is out there. I told, I agree. I, I, I truly I do. agree. <laughs> um, so, you know, it teaches just a lot of traits that Young people need to leave when they start on their, their career um, wow. path. That's awesome. So we really, really just try to instill in them to be the best that you can be. Oh, no that's matter, awesome. No matter that where, you, awesome. where you... Well, 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 um, talk a little bit about C-Act. That's another... C-Dac. Uh, C-Dac. A lot of people get C-Act and C-Dac 
mixed up. Okay. It's okay. Southeast Alabama Community Theater, which they're the ones over at the Cultural Arts okay. Center that do the plays. Mm -hmm. And we're CDAC, Southeast oh, Alabama Dance Company. Gotcha. And gotcha. we are a nonprofit company. We're celebrating our 36th year this oh, year. Oh, that is awesome. And and uh, we do two shows a year. We do the Nutcracker. And right. this year, you're not going to believe we're doing Frozen for no. our spring show. <laughs> and that is going to be a hit. We're going to have 100 parts, children's parts, wow. not in the company for Frozen. And we've already started working on it. Our costumer that works in-house here, Cindy Tucker, she is so Oh, excited. that's going to be good. Yes. That, that was a good movie. And I'm going to tell you a secret. Adults like a lot of those kids' movies. They do. They do. <laughs> It's the only time I get to go to the movies I when know, I take right? my grandchildren to the Amen. movie. But anyway, we do two major shows a year, and then we do a camp that's going on this week, our intensive. Amen. And Friday, we'll have a small audience that comes in-house and watches what all the dancers have learned this week. We're that's so blessed good. to have a fabulous board of directors that provides all of these things. It doesn't cost monthly to be in the company Is once you're right? in the company. you do. Good. There's some certain okay. requirements. You have to be intermediate, and you have to be age 12 and up. Okay. But the board of directors provides all of their costumes, all of the choreography, wow. all of the sets. That's you know, awesome. Yeah. That's so it's awesome. a great opportunity for dancers that really are serious about dance and that's that love good. to dance. So, so one more quick thing before we get to Ashley. So what's your, what's your big vision? What's, what's next for you? Uh, you've accomplished so many things. you a successful dancer, teacher, mentor, mom. You know, wife, you love the Lord, you're Christian. So what's next for you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I've thought about a lot of things, but honestly, I think I am at my max limit as far as what workload I can provide yes, and do it well. Yes, ma'am. Um, I've had some other opportunities to do some other things, but with the dance wear store that we also own called Basil right. and uh, the two dance studios, and then I direct the Southeast Alabama Dance Company, that's four hats that I have to wear. Wow. And on top of that, I want I want to make sure that I'm a good grandmother. Oh. And I um, take all my, my off every Wednesday just to go and babysit my grandchildren. That is so That's sweet. important. But um, honestly, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing. And I guess if I had to say, I hope that this will be handed down to someone that loves dance as much Let's as I do. Let's got it right here. Mm -hmm. Let's got it right here. That would be my vision. Amen. And my hope. Well, listen, y'all. Y'all hold tight, and we're going to be right back, and we're going to talk about... Uh, a, a, a leaf that has not fallen far from this tree, and that's Miss Ashley. Y'all hold tight. We'll be right back. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, it's time to see who made it on the Selfie Shelf this week. And I am glad to announce that my friend, Miss Sherry, uh, over at one of my favorite car rental places, uh, has made it on our Selfie Shelf. She has a very contagious smile, and I am a Big, big fan of Big Smile. She has such a sweet spirit. So she's going to win lunch for two at Bishop's Home Cooking over there on E4 West across from uh, Flowers Hospital. So, Miss Sherry, you made it on the selfie shelf. I'm doing good. good. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here in the office of Miss Ashley, who is the daughter of Tracy, who we just got through talking to. And I couldn't wait to talk to Ashley because she's done uh, some of the same things that her mom has done with a little bit more flavor. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, good morning. What Hi. got you interested in dancing? Because I asked your mom, did was this something like she forced on you or... Did you just see your mom doing it and you like, I want to be a dancer too. So what was your motivation? Good morning, Walter, and thank you very hey. much for <laughs> having us. Dance has always been my passion, mm -hmm. and I honestly think I was born with the gift to teach dance. Oh, wow. I, I feel like that is my blessing that I've been blessed with. And just developing it over the years has been an honor and a blessing. And Amen. of course, there have been trying tough times as a teenager. We wow, all have those times wow, in our life where you okay. have to battle, kind of battle through it and figure it out. Yeah. But um, I've been very blessed to um, have the gift and the talent of dance, and oh, I've always wow. enjoyed it. Well, I, I'm glad you brought that up. For the young people watching and for the young people that you teach, what were a couple of things that you went through being a teenager? Because I have teenage boys now, one going to college and another one at 16, and they hit that bump. That right. teenage bump on call it. How did you push through it? What happened? 
it's a tough time. I think it was one of the most toughest times of mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. And I just remember priorities were a big thing. Right. Not really understanding that you need to put um, your priorities in order. Right. And I got confused with... That's a good know, word. That's a good word. That's confused good word. with why does everybody want to socialize all the time and not work hard? Yeah. And yeah. it's easy yeah. these days, especially with the internet and the texting and all that, to just get wrapped yeah. up on that iPad for hours and then you look back and what have you accomplished in the last few hours? Wow. What have you done? That's Nothing. Good. That's good. Nothing. That's good. I, you know? I hope y'all are taking notes. I hope you're taking notes. Because Absolutely. believe it or not, uh, adults get confused sometimes. That's that we good. all have a hard time, yeah. you yeah. know, with with hard work and you know, great things that you accomplish have to be done by hard work and there's wow. no substitute. Well, that I'm, hard work. I'm so what was so your hard. aha moment? What was that thing that said, you know what, Ash, you got a choice? What happened? Well, you know, I think a lot of teenagers and myself were handed things on a silver platter. Yeah, yeah, I got I know you. I do yeah. that as a parent. We just right. give our kids so much and you know, there was a point where I was um, unfortunately ugly to my mom or my parents. Right. And they said, look, you know, we're not going to do this anymore. We're not going to wow. keep providing for you and you being disrespectful. Wow. So, Thank you for that. You That's know, good. You can That's respect good. this and honor this and do this with a positive attitude or wow. you're not going to do it. Wow. And so they actually took it away from me. And that's when I realized this is really what I want to do, and I do want to work hard. That is good. So, so that moment, and then your mom said you went on to college. Tell us about that experience. Like you went up to like New York um, and and studied in New York. How was that? Yes, I, it was the greatest time. <laughs> I love New York City Amen. and all of the people that are there just as much as I love my hometown, Alabama. Okay. And I learned so much. It's a totally different world, I think. <laughs> it's to I have totally. friends from New York. It, it's, it's different. Just, I'm talking it's, day and night. You might well need a passport to get to New York. It's just that. <laughs> absolutely. But it was the greatest opportunity of my life. And I, I was fortunate enough to go to college there and wow. dance professionally and appreciated every minute that I had there. It's amazing. Yeah, just, how long did you dance professionally? Um, well, not counting college, three years. Wow. But I consider my college time professional. Okay. Because all of my teachers were teachers with professional right. companies. Right. And we had professional training. So oh, that, wow. the three years. That was pretty, that was that was pretty intense, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, very intense. And because I came from a background like Dothan School of Dance and Southeast Southern Dance right. Company provides where you dance all day, all the time, and you work hard, I was able to succeed yeah, in a, a tough program. Okay. You know, a lot of people couldn't hang because they weren't tough enough. They were like, whoa, But that's only hard. the tough survive here <laughs> at our school. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's you look good. at today, they, dan they dance 11 hours today. 11 the hours. kids, the teenagers. So you got to be tough hours. and you got to be Guys, 11 hours. Now, that's not every day. I understand, you know, but, but today <laughs> they're they're pushing it and they're working hard. We we I got some footage where the guys, the teacher had them do some moves. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's pretty intense. It is, and and I guess with anything in life, you have to want to do it. You do. You gotta want to, you know, to be successful at it. So, and I asked your mom the same thing. Absolutely. What what's a couple of things that you really want to get over to the dancers? People that dance, what's a couple of things that you try to instill in your students? One of the main things is to be grateful and I like that. Yeah, to dance is not about winning or achieving an award, but it's about being the best that you can be for you. Winning is being a kind person, you know, and being grateful. It's like not about that. you look around our studio oh, and we good. have no awards. Yes. We you know, we receive them but who knows where they go because that's not what it's about. It's I about like that. I really you know like that. appreciating what what we've been given. And that's very important. And another thing that's very important that I try to instill in my students is that strength comes from the mind. Strength is the matter of the mind made up. 
that's what strength is. That's one of my platforms. You know? I love Do that. Do you love that? I love and that. And then, that's of course, good. right here, you know, right here, right here. The other big, huge thing is the golden rule: love your neighbor. You got to. <laughs> you got to. Oh. About that. <laughs> that is good. Talk a little bit about being a mom. You got two, two wonderful babies, five and two. Talk about being a mom. How has that changed your life? Well, you know, dancers express themselves through movement. Okay. They don't okay. talk. You don't see dancers on stage talking. Dancers express themselves through movement. So the greatest thing about dance is that we know how to express ourselves without using words. Wow. And being able to do that gives you more of a vocabulary that you can't describe. Is that There right? are things that I'm so passionate about that words, they're beyond words. And I think being a mother is, is the greatest blessing of my life. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do, but wow. it's beyond words. I'm so thankful, <laughs> so thankful for my two babies Amen. and I love being a mom. You love her. And love so you can appreciate wherever she is right now. You can appreciate Miss Tracy a little bit more now because you're a mama now. Absolutely. You know, and wow. This 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 is pretty awesome. I'm so I'm so glad to know y'all. This is good and I love what you said. And and this is just again one of my big platforms. Be grateful. Because life is gonna be life, but you have to have an attitude of gratitude, you know. So what's next for you? I asked your mom, what's next for Ashley? What's next on your to-do list? I have a lot of things on my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> I um, got one too, I got one Yeah, too. well, you know, just getting my kids through the teenage years and through college, that's a big one. Right, you right, know, to right. And, and to make sure that they love God. Amen. That's important. Um, but I, I would love to do some great things with dance one day, um, you know, with conventions or, right. you know, just anything that yeah, can take I, uh, me out of I Dothan. Like I want to go. spread my wings. Go, yeah. go. I, I love I, uh, Dothan, but I'd love to branch out. I just, I appreciate dancers because all of those movements and we watch um, dance shows, yeah. competitions. And it just, I'm always amazed at how the chore, they get all that choreographed and everything. Dance, y'all, y'all off the chain. It's y'all are athletic, y'all are athletic. So, so how do you keep yourself in such good shape? Be, I guess you teach and all of that. Yes, and I stay teach all active. the time. Yes, wow. yeah, wow, absolutely. And we're thankful for everything that we have here. So that is thank good. you. Well, I'm just girl. High five. This has been good. This has been Miss Ashley. I have thoroughly enjoyed our time together. I got some footage of the dancers. So yes. I hope everyone has enjoyed the show as much as I have enjoyed interviewing you and your mom. Hey, appreciate it. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Amen. Thank Amen. You. All right, y'all hold tight. We'll be right back. This Hi, everyone. I'm Teresa Thomas, and I'm a member of Sweet Bethel Baptist Church. And my pastor is Dr. Walter Sims. I invite all of you to watch him on the Dr. Walter Sims show every Saturday at 8.30 a.m. on Fox 34. Don't miss the Dr. Walter Sims Show, Saturday mornings at 8.30 on WDFX-TV, Fox 34. Well, hello, young ladies. I think we have Janisha. Hey, Janisha. Hey. And we have Milana. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chad, we'll start with Janisha and then Milana. Uh, how long y'all been dancing? I've been dancing for 10 years, and it's, this year's going to be my 11th year. I've been dancing for 11, and this year's going to be my 12th. Wow. So what got you young ladies interested in dancing in the first place? Well, when I was four, I started gymnastics because my parents couldn't find a dance studio. And then they found the dance studio, and so I started dancing, and I just kind of quit gymnastics. Okay. <laughs> All right. So when I was three, I started dancing. I was taking ballet and stuff, and I also tried soccer, and... It worked out for one day, but so I stuck to dance and been doing it for my whole life. Oh, that is awesome. So is dancing really hard? Now, from what I've seen, I, I video you guys doing a routine. Is dancing hard? Yes, it is. Wow. It's challenging. And so what, what gets y'all through the hard workout? You have to eat right. You have to train. Um, she told me you guys like may train for like 11 hours straight. You know what I'm saying? So what gets y'all through your, your routines and your training? <laughs> I like that. And just knowing that even though it can be hard, 
the next day you'll know that you improved and it gets you going. <laughs> that is awesome. And I heard you drive 45 minutes yes, to get I here. Yes, I do. I live in Enterprise. So I come almost every day to Dyson. That is awesome. Tell, tell everybody how old you are if you don't mind. I'm 14. 15. You know, when you're young, you don't mind telling your age. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me, the last thing I want to ask you is what would you tell? Now, you got 210,000 people that's going to watch your interview. You're in front of, like, the wild grass. Yay. <laughs> so what would you tell young people? What, what would you tell young people that want to do something? What would you tell them? I'll tell them just to do what they want to do, and if they love it, keep going for it. If that's what you want to do, then it's what you want to do. And you always have to stay determined because my motivation is if I'm on the computer and I watch a good dancer that's more flexible than me, that'll be my motivation to come back to the studio and to get better because I know what I can do and I know my capability. So you just have to stay determined and find different motivations to help you improve in whatever you like. Oh, that's awesome. All right, Miss Krista, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Well, tell us, how long have you been working with the Dothan School of Dance? This will actually be my 17th year teaching with the studio. And I absolutely love it, and I wouldn't work anywhere else. Oh, you would? No. <laughs> well, how long have you been dancing yourself? I've been dancing since I was two and a half, so about 27 years. Wow. You've been dancing a long time, haven't you? So what's been your motivation? Why do you dance? I think every morning I wake up, and that's all I can think about. And you know that that's what you're meant to do, and that's the case. You wake up every morning, you say, this is where I want to be. I love teaching, not just dancing, but teaching these girls seeing them grow, seeing them improve, and going through that journey with them is what makes it all worth it. So what's one of the things that you like to instill in the students that you teach dance? To dance from their heart. Because a lot of times you get students that come in and they're very technical and anybody can learn technique and steps, but it takes a true artist to show the audience or to show whoever that you can dance from here. And that's what's the purpose of the dance for the art is, is to entertain people. Oh, that is awesome. So what's next for you? I've been asking everybody that, that I interviewed. What's next for you? Well, I have a five-year-old little girl, and so I'm working with her, and I'm hoping that she develops that same passion that I do, and if not, then hopefully she'll find something that she's passionate about. All right. Hey, y'all. We're members of the Dothan School of Dance, and we love Dr. Walter Sims. Do the name Guys, I'm sure it goes without saying that I enjoyed my time with Tracy, Ashley, and all the young ladies at the Dalton School of Dance, and I believe they enjoy spending time with me as well. Uh, they are full of energy, they are full of life, and they are motivated uh, to live the life of their dreams. They're disciplined, they're dedicated, and I hope everyone can take something away from the show today. If you have a dream, if you have a desire, if it's in your heart to do, you do it with every ounce of being you have. Listen, do me a favor. Run by my fan page, www.facebook.com slash the Dr. Walter Sam Show. Make sure you like it. Make sure you click on the button that says Smile Partner. Join me and help me make one million people smile. We're well on our way. My, my fan page is growing every day, and I'm here to tell you, spread the word. Join us here every Saturday morning at 8.30 a.m. on Fox 34, and you tune in and check out the Dr. Walter Sands Show. I thank God for this opportunity, and I am having a ball. And please remember, if you stay high on life, life will stay high on you.